Hi, Valder. Good morning, Kim Whitley. Thank you for joining us on the Valder BB Show here in Dallas, Texas. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dallas. I love Dallas. We love Dallas. We love Dallas, and we love you, Kim Whitley. Oh, well, Congratulations thank you. first on your show. Oh, well, thank you so much. It is truly a blessing. Well, it's truly a blessing. We've waited a long time for you to have your own show. We think you are one of the funniest people on the planet. Oh, thank you, Valder. I appreciate that. A lot of people say, that. when are you going to be on TV again? And so uh, it is, yeah, I'm excited. Well, I'd like to let my audience know here that Kim has her own series on the OWN Network, and it's titled Raising Whitley. <laughs> Kim, tell me about Raising Whitley. Well, the show is about me having a son, uh, adopting a son and being a single parent I had to create a village around me to help me raise my son uh, so and all the antics that go with that I like that because my husband and I've been married 28 years we have four children three boys one girl and we used to pray for some extra parents I'm telling you Kim <laughs> <laughs> I believe it honey I am by myself and what at least you have a husband that's the whole point I don't have a husband but it was two of us, and we still had to pray for parents because that little bitty thing that you get, it requires a lot of people. Who are you telling? And nobody, and let me tell you something, I've been disrespecting single parents and parents for years. I was like, oh, it can't be that hard. Come on, I got a dog. Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's a whole nother situation, and you can't explain it to people. You can't explain it. You really can't. So You have to walk their path. Ooh. Well, I'm so excited for you because there are so many things that will unfold for you. Tell me some of the things we'll see on the show because I think that you're... You're going to be setting something uh, uh, historical here. You may not understand it because you're walking the path, but people are going to be watching and they're going to say, I can do, hopefully they say, I can do it better. I can do it like that. I can get some help. Well said, Valder. I love that. Setting something historical. And I hope so. Uh, to see on this show, I'm hoping that I inspire other women and, and, and parents and single fathers to build their village. Because people don't ask. We all think we can do it on ourselves. But our lives are changing. you got to think about it. Both parents are working. It's a lot of things going on. So uh, building your village is very important. You're going to see uh, <laughs> my friends coming in, trying to be parents. They're a mess. Uh, you're going to see, I don't even want to tell you the stuff you're going to see, but it is. it reads like a sitcom. The show plays like a sitcom. And um, hopefully people will learn from this. I, I always say, if I can give them the two L's, if they can laugh and learn, then I've done my job. Well, I think you are. And then your baby's two years old, Joshua. He's two years old, correct? Yes, he is two years old. That's the perfect age because that's when, you know, parents really, <laughs> really have to struggle when they're two years old because they start to come into who they are. Honey, I've been struggling since he was two days old. Yeah, I'm struggling <laughs> now, but let me tell you something. People don't realize that little baby, you have to take it Without parents, we will not survive. So it made me respect my parents. I apologized to them once I got Joshua. I was like, I'm sorry if I've ever done anything. I apologize. I didn't know that you uh, actually kept me alive. Thank you. You sound like my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I did. They wrote me on my anniversary. We're so sorry we were like with the way we were because they have kids of their own now. And it's, they see that it's not a walk in the park. It's the best job. Isn't it? The, the, yes. Yes. It's the hardest job. It's the hardest job. Well, you've got the baby. You've got the village. Tell me, this is a big question. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, what's her name? Cheryl Soderbergh from Google. Mm -hmm. She set it on fire. <laughs> yes. She said, okay, y'all need to get out there and work harder and work more. So how are you bringing it all together, work and Joshua? Work and Joshua. Because I have a village, honey. Um, what it, it takes uh, being organized um, I have all the villagers. Everyone has a certain job. They've all signed contracts that they have to be in this baby's life forever. And, you know, some of them are corporate. Some of them don't have jobs. <sighs> but it is one day at a time. It's one day at a time trying to organize it all. But I take them with me. What do you mean you take them with you? <laughs> Wherever I go. Well, I'm just saying, if I go to a movie set, like I was doing uh, the NBC show Animal Practice, I had a daycare on uh, Paramount lot. So I would bring him at 5 in the morning. He would stay in my trailer. I'd take somebody with me. If one of the villagers would go with me in the morning until the daycare opened at 7. While I'm in hair and makeup, then they would take the baby over to daycare. 
So it was all about scheduling. It's all about scheduling yes. and the baby. Kim, that's really great. Now, i got to ask you this. Mm-hmm. What about those who work a regular 9 to 5 and they don't have this, this great opportunity? What can you impart to them about caring for their child and trying to keep that bond? Well, well, yeah, the bond is important. I have to stop sometimes. And when I get home from work, because you think about it, you go to work early in the morning, then you get home and it's time for a bath and bedtime. We got to put our cell phones down. We got to get off of Facebook. We've got to take that time so our children can get some of us in them instead of, you know, the daycare or school. And we have to read that story. We have to give them that bath and we have to give them that attention right before bed because it's going to start all over again. Right after they go to bed, you can get on Facebook, you can get on the phone, you can do everything, but just stop. And if you don't have any help, ask. What people don't realize is there is a lot of single people out there that don't have children that would love to be asked. See, people would just assume, oh, they're busy. But if you say, you know what, I need you to be in my child's life, like a godparent, we ask. But I need you to sign a contract, be my village. I need you to be in my child's life for the rest of his life. I have changed single people's lives. They said, you know what, Kim, you have inspired me to be a better person because I'm a part of your child's life for real. That is so good. You're giving a chance to test parenthood. I like that, Kim. We're going to be totally delighted. Tell us when you want us to watch Raising Whitley on the OWN Network. I would love for you to watch Raising Whitley on the OWN Network. It is Saturday, premiering Saturday the 20th at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. And uh, every Saturday after that, we come on after Yanla. Uh, And it's going to be a great show. Well, we'll be watching you because we think you are so funny. We think, you know, there's great things ahead for you, Kim Whitley. We've always liked you. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate you, Valda. And you know what? I just wanted to make sure I said if there's any parents out there that have children with allergies, I also created a T-shirt line to help these children. And it's called Don'tFeedMe.org. And I had to do it for Joshua. I have the shirt so you can see it. And you put the child's name on it, and you can check off all of the... Uh... I saw that. So when people come in, they know what to do. I love that, Kim. Boy, you're just a <laughs> renaissance mom. I'm tr- you know moms are the best inventors. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Whitley, thank you so much for talking to Dallas, Texas, and being on the Valder BB Show. I appreciate it. Thank you, honey. I'll be in Dallas in June. I'll see you with my girl, Cheryl Jones. Appreciate you. We'll be watching for you. Thank you, honey.